everybody, it is Jennifer here and I am so excited to be starting my first weekly vlog. Alright, so as you can tell from the title and my mini intro just now, this week I am doing my very first weekly vlog. Yeah, I just, you guys love my vlogs, I love vlogging. Why not put two and two together and make weekly vlogs? So my life isn't as interesting as Kim Kardashian's or Courtney's. Chloe's or Kris Jenner's, you know, you get the memo. Yes, but um, that is why I don't want to vlog every single day and upload them as single days because that's not going to be interesting at all because, like I said, my life is not that great. Well, I mean, it's pretty great, but it's just not that interesting, okay? So, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, great. Um, currently, I am catching up with some of my other vlogs. I have two more vlogs from my little vacation I went on, I guess, with my dad. I'm currently making the thumbnail for one of them. It is this one of my travel horror story. No, it's not a misleading title. It is honestly something that happened. You can go watch that if you have not seen it already. But yeah, so I'm going to be weekly vlogging. So here is the final, I guess, thumbnail for my vlog that I'm uploading. It's not exactly a vlog. Um, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But I actually really like how this turned out. The frame, I think, makes it look more put together. I've been doing like a frame on all my videos literally, so yeah. And, you know, I just have the text in the middle, and I love this little ghost poking out, like, peeking out. It used to be right here, but then it looked, like, too much. And then, like, I want it, like, around here, you know, to even it out, kind of. But I love the way this turned out, and I think it looks really nice. So, yeah, go watch the video if you have not. I just ordered two books that I'm super excited to get um, on Amazon. It is, what day is it? Oh, it's not even Monday! I thought it was Monday! I'm such a mess. It's Tuesday. I'm starting my weekly vlog on Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay. Tuesday now. Um, I ordered two books from Amazon. One is Girl Online on Tours, Zoella's second book. And the second one I ordered is The Wrath of the Dawn, I believe it's what it's called. I saw it from Sasha Ellsberg's video, A Book Utopia, that's her channel name, a while ago. And she's like one of my favorite booktubers. So I saw it on her channel a while ago and I've always wanted to like get it, but I was so busy with moving, didn't really have time to get the book. And today I was browsing and I'm like, I want to get it because I really want to read it. So if you have read any of those two books, tell me how you like them down below. And I'm super excited to get them on Thursday. And I forgot to tell you guys the time completely. It is right now, 9.36. And yeah, I do need to do my ab workout of the day. Um, I'm not like some insane like athlete, you know, but I do. I think I filmed like a Q&A based on fitness and lifestyle. It might be up. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not, but I did explain some of that. So if you want the answers, either go watch that or wait for it to come out. <laughs> yeah, but I do need to do my ab workout and it's not like a like this huge thing. I'm trying to Oh, I can't show you because you have to like Okay. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay. What I mean is like I have this thing that I'm doing with my mom and it's like this um, 30 day ab challenge basically. You pay $10 for it and we we both, we didn't pay $20 for it, you know, if you know what I mean, like we have to pay $10 for it to do it together because like my mom is really into fitness and stuff as well as, as well as me because like I run and stuff. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I still have to do two, two Tuesdays thing. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll check up on you guys afterwards. Alright guys, so it is now 11 o'clock at night. And yeah, I'm going to be going to bed because I'm actually so tired. So yeah, that was it for today. Um, yeah, today was pretty, pretty, pretty productive. Why did I say pretty so many times? It's, today was quite productive. Filmed a video, got some editing done. In the process of uploading a vlog right there. So hopefully that I'll be up by the next morning. And yeah, so... All right, I guess I'll check in on you tomorrow morning after I fall asleep. After I wake up after I fall asleep. See ya. Good morning, everybody. And wow, my voice. Um, partially because it's the morning, partially because I'm sick. So I'm sorry my voice is like this. It's like this every single morning. It gets better. It is now actually 10 24, so not really morning morning. I actually woke up at like 9, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get like work done and stuff, even though, even though I don't have like really important stuff I have to do so you know chilled in bed on my phone for like an hour and a half and then I got too hungry so now I'm going to go down and get some breakfast all right so yesterday I went to the supermarket and I got this peanut butter that I've been wanting to try out for a while it's called PB2 you might have heard of it it's basically like powdered and then you have to like 
use, I believe it's two teaspoons of the powder and then you mix it with water and you like stir it until it's the texture of peanut butter. So we're gonna go try that out today. It has been a while since I finished breakfast. It was so good, the peanut butter was like honestly better than any other one I've tasted. I was just planning out some video ideas and some ways that I'm gonna edit. So yeah, now I'm gonna go upstairs and get changed. I just watched the movie Bad Night on Netflix. Um, if you don't know, it is starring the two, I'm like not talking right. Uh, Gen X Penn and Lauren Elizabeth are in this movie and I just, I've always wanted to see it, never got the time. Finally did. It was so good. But I feel like it's one of those movies that, like, I don't want to see again. Not that it was bad. It was super great. But, like, I just... It's just, like, this type of movie that has, like, that mis... Not mystery. Like, I just get so worked up at certain parts. So, if you know what I mean. It is now almost 2 o'clock. Hi, guys. It's now 3.30. I'm obviously in my sportswear. I'm about to play some... Oops. Badminton with Oscar. That's, like, one of our new favorite things to do together. I used to be absolutely obsessed with badminton, and I, have played, and I haven't played in so long. And I might go on a run later, might not, I'm not sure. I think I will, though. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Good. I'm going to leave you guys alone now because I cannot play this with one hand. So, yeah. Hi, guys. It is now 8.48. 8.48, yeah. Only reason I'm not on my bed is because... I'm actually doing this new thing I've started, and it is journaling. You guys must be thinking, Jennifer, are you 10? Actually, I was only 10, like, about four years ago, so no. That's not a very good, good example. But no, it's not like, dear diary, today I got in a fight with Susan. And I don't know, that was the first name that came to my head. You know, it's more like writing down the thoughts that I have throughout the day, um... I will take time, if I do have a thought in my head that I feel strongly enough about, to write it down. I will do it throughout the day. Like, today I had an entry from 11.24, um, 10.52, you know, just, just little entries. And obviously I'm not going to share that on here because they are very personal. But if you are going through a tough time in your life, if you're feeling sad, unsatisfied, or even extremely happy, ecstatic, anything, if you're feeling strongly about something, I definitely suggest for you to write it down it will help so much if you're excited it helps you you know maybe get more excited and more pumped up but honestly if you're so stressed about things like that's kind of why i started this week i started like monday so um two days ago <clears throat> i really find it helps it really does help it feels like this huge um like weight has been lifted off your chest and it feels very nice to write it down because i know that sometimes if you're stressed about things worrying about things you don't really want to tell anyone because you either can't, they're not interested, or, you know, you just don't want to bother anyone. So, writing it down is just honestly the best way. Um, if you don't like writing, maybe you can type it out. I don't know. I've always loved, like, reading and writing, like, literature. So, yeah. But that's just what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I went running. I might have told you guys. I did go running today. And, yeah, I, today I took it very slow and steady. Yeah, and then when I came back, I did my ab challenge of the day. And after I write my journal entry, I'm probably just going to go pop in my bed, do some Netflix stuff and YouTube stuff, and then go to sleep. Hi, guys. I don't know what that was. I am feeling very jumpy and hyper right now. Um, swag. Lovely. Love life. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. Okay. Um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock at night, actually, and I'm just not a single bit tired. Um, and I guess that's okay. I don't have a lot to do tomorrow. So yeah, I'm feeling very jumpy, very thing, I don't even know, like, I just, I could, like, hit up the club right now, I'm just kidding, no, but I'm feeling very jumpy, and I'm gonna look at this footage and regret it someday, swag, okay, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, um, yeah, I'm, you know, chilling in my pajamas, obviously very fashionable very matchy and I also you know my socks match perfectly great um I also redid my nails because like they were starting to chip and I had some time so you know I did my nails and I feel like Barbie and I, I am the emoji right now and oh my gosh the emojis did I did I mention this in my vlog I don't know the new emojis came out there's a middle finger hallelujah there's a taco a burrito a hot dog you know everything everything I could ask for now there just needs to be a Jennifer emoji because I am the queen of the world. Alright, so like I said, it is 11 o'clock. I'm probably going to try and calm myself down now. Probably read a book. <gasps> my book comes, my book comes, my, no, not my books. Like, my books that I ordered come tomorrow. Um, I'll show you what I order tomorrow. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to try to calm myself down for bed. And yeah, um, 
I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hi guys, a lot of things to tell you guys today. I'm just gonna turn on the aircon, it's freaking hot. Um, it's actually 5.30. I actually, for once, have a reason other than the fact that I'm a bad vlogger on why I don't vlog. I lost it today, okay? I had a freaking meltdown because I could not find my camera. Um, that's not why I'm breathing hard, that's just because I like just went to run. But, um, okay, let me just, yeah, Jennifer, really normal, just sitting on the floor. Okay, so, yesterday I put my camera somewhere, and I could not find it for the life of me. Um, I later realized that when I was making my bed, my camera was actually under my quilt, so that's where it was. I, like, lost it. I'm like, no, like, I'm trying to vlog, and it's not, just, it's just not working. But I found it, and now I'm vlogging. I filmed my video for Halloween week on The Neighborhood, and I don't know when this vlog will be up, so maybe it's out already, but I don't know. Um, but I'm actually very proud of it. I love the way it turned out. I, I guess I can give you guys a, a little sneak peek. It's very different from what I normally do, but I think, thank you guys will like it. And by the way, if you don't know what The Neighborhood is, it's a collab that I'm on. Um, link down below. really proud of it um, I hope you guys like that sneak peek um, it would be kind of pointless if this was already out but I'm, I don't think it will be so yeah guys my package is here my books are here I'm so excited my package is here here they are oh my gosh okay this one right here is by Zoe Sug obviously this is girl online on tour I love the first book so excited oh my gosh <gasps> so excited okay so that's this one and I got these off of Amazon by the way this one is The Wrath and the Dawn. I'm so excited to read this. I can't pronounce her last name, but I know it's Renee something. Saw this on a book YouTube. I, we talked about this before. We definitely have. I saw this on a, a book YouTube's YouTube, and I just, I've always wanted to read this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This book is thicker, and I love books with like the, let me show you, with like the, the pages that are like that, you know, you know what I mean? Gosh, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to read Girl Online first because this one I've been like mainly waiting for and then I realized that I could order this one too. So I'm going to read this one first. Also waiting for our steak to cook. Um, Hi guys, you can see my reflection in the sous vide. Yeah, um, um, dad decided to make steak because he decided to make steak and I cannot be happier. I'm not complaining. Um, this reminds me of a science teacher I once had. Oh my gosh, last year, my really annoying science teacher, I've talked about her so many times because of how annoying she is. Kid you not, okay, once again, it's not just because I hate her. It's literally just no one. Every single person that had her as a teacher did not like her, but um, we had to write this report on like a machine or something before and it was like a partner thing. So me and my friend Sherlyn, we were in the science class together, obviously, and I was like, so we were brainstorming and I was like, oh, we should do a sous vide. This, like a sous vide is blah, 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 blah. And I was explaining it to her and, and then our teacher, of course, was like, you guys have to come to me before you actually can write about it. Like I have to like make sure that it's okay. And I'm just like, okay. So then like we go tell her and she's like, yeah, no, you can't do that. No. Like she didn't even give us a reason why. Like why? reason maybe no she's just like yeah no like she legit oh my gosh i can run on about her so much I, it's not even funny like when we were taking our final exams you know like the final exams you take at the end of the year yeah that she was playing candy crush on her phone playing music on a freaking speaker and singing like what kind of teacher I have no words. We also had to mark our own exams, okay? The final exams, she made us like trade papers with someone and mark our own. Who does that? Who? No. Just no. But anyway, on the bright side, we have steak tonight. Hi guys, I completely forgot to vlog my dinner because it looked so good and I was hungry and I was way too excited. But it's now like seven o'clock and here's what it looks like. I've already um, like killed it basically. Uh, here we have some mushrooms corn on the cob, and then just some beef, like steak. It is now 11.44, um, really healthy sleeping schedule. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really tired. I'm probably just gonna read some of my books. 
that I got today, I'm gonna read. I'm reading Girl One. I think I already said that. I'm gonna get to lie down right there, be really comfy, go to bed. Um, I have a reason for once why I stayed up so late. I was really busy editing a couple videos, and then I got in the zone. So you know, life of a YouTuber. Yay! When you can't make a hashtag with your hands because one of them was holding the camera. But okay, yeah, I'll spare you of my really scratchy voice. <laughs> and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Hello guys, and I am back in this shirt because I'm a loser and I spilled water all over the other one. But it's okay because I just took this out of the dryer and it's all warm now, so everything is good. Dad is actually making lunch right now. I think he's going to be making, um, what is it called, pasta and maybe some brownies, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just going to be chilling in my bed that I haven't yet to made and I'm probably just going to watch some Netflix because... You know, Netflix is day. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh, that was so weird. It is, like, 5.40 now, and, oh, my gosh, I am sweating buckets. Um, I had to, like, really chill for a while before I vlogged because I was running out of breath, and I just cannot breathe because I ran. Um, it's actually not about the distance. It's actually about, like, the route I took. Okay, so I went on this route that I have been wanting to try out for a while. So this route, I want to try it out for a while now. Um, it's very different from what I usually do. It's an uphill route, up, up, uphill route, or route, however you want to say it. Um, okay, goes uphill a lot. Like, obviously not the whole time because I would completely die. But a lot of it, like, I would say, like, more than half of it was uphill. And I cannot feel my calves, calves, is that how you say it? I have the worst tan line also, my calves at all because... They died, okay? They straight up died. Um, I did push through, no breaks, no walking, just I would slow down my pace a little, not drastically, because I knew that it would be hard to pick it up again. But you know, just typical slowing down a little when I was really drained out. I did want to stop a lot um, during like some parts, but I pushed through and I'm actually very, very proud of myself. This is the route that I have wanted to try for a long time, but I've never, didn't think I was ready for it. I just, I just, you know, I didn't know if my muscles were ready. I didn't know if I was mentally ready. Today, I really pushed through, and I was like, Jennifer, you, you're gonna do this. So I did, and I'm very proud. Um, yeah. If you ever need, if you ever need a good like leg workout, just run uphill. You don't even have to like go on a like a run. You just like find an uphill and just go up and down a few times. Um, distance. I went to. I went to, my distance is 1.56 miles, where's my phone, here it is, I'm just double check, I'm pretty sure that's what I said, and I actually changed it over to kilometers to kind of get an idea of how it works, and I think it goes to like 2.5 kilometers, so that's an idea for you if you want to know the measurements, let me just pull up my Nike running. Well, this week I just kind of went like really light, um, um, I think this is Monday, and I only ran like 1.32, and obviously I didn't like completely push it out of the envelope today. But, um, yeah, I went slow and steady this entire week. Today I ran for 15 minutes, um, 1.56 miles. So that is 2.5 kilometers. So, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. Um, yeah, that's the longest uphill I've ever done. I haven't really done anything that focused um, mostly on uphill before. And I've, that's just something I've always wanted to do. And I, and I finally did it, and I'm really proud of myself. Oh, well, one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. If you're ever looking for a good workout song, which I know I always am, a really good song. Um, I, I was listening to this a lot today. It's called Levels by Nick Jonas. I'm pretty sure it's new. Here. Um, it's just a really good song. Like, very high energy. Um, you obviously don't have to run, like, by it with the beat, I guess, because it is very fast-paced. But it's a very good song. And I'm really tired, and I'm talking way too much. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is now 8 p.m. and I thought that I would end today's vlog here because nothing too interesting is gonna happen from here. But tomorrow's gonna make everything not so boring because Oscar, why don't you tell them where we're going? We're gonna go to Universal Studios. And he's like so excited. But yeah, I know this week has been not the most interesting to watch. I'm old enough to go on Jurassic World. Yeah, you're tall enough to go on the Jurassic Park ride. Great. Yes. Great. But not on the mummy thing. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, that is it for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. It is Saturday and I think it's Saturday. Is it Saturday? Hold on. Make sure. Yes, it is Saturday, October 24th. 
And we're going to Universal Studios today so that I can vlog it and show you guys that my life isn't so boring. Okay, obviously I'm kidding. That's not why we're going to Universal. But we are going. So yeah, I still have to make my bed in case you can see it in the background. But I just thought I would show you guys my outfit really quickly. So today I am wearing my like theme park get up. Um, whenever I go to theme parks, I, also, I always like to wear a kimono because... Um, I like to cover up my skin mostly because I'm either wearing a short sleeve or like a tank top and my skin burns super easily so you know we don't want that so it's not like a super huge jacket that's going to make me sweat but it's really cute and I've never had problems with wearing kimonos before in like uh, really hot weather especially in like LA weather or like California weather in like the summer so I haven't had problems at all which is really really good. Um, and then the top I'm wearing underneath is just, oh, and this kimono is from Abercrombie. The top I'm wearing underneath is kind of like a tank top. It's really cute. It's got like this little heart-shaped neckline. And, um, this is from, where's this from? Forever 21. And then my shorts are just from American, American something, American Eagle. American Eagle is where they're from. High-waisted so that, like... Because this is kind of cropped, you know? So that's what I'm wearing. As for shoes, I wanted to go with my Nikes. But I don't know which ones. Because I have my Rashi ones. And they're like a brighter blue. And I thought that would be nice. But um, doesn't really go with this. And then my fly nets. I feel like there's like my running ones. And I just, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I just, I don't know. And I also thought that my um, Adidas would work really well. But I don't want to wear those because... Theme park, no, like, I'm going with my Nikes, I, I'm not gonna make a fashion statement, like, I need my comfort, please, so yeah, I will figure that out and tell you guys later. Hello guys, it is now 12.30, I switched SD cards because my other one was only 8 gigabytes and I didn't realize, but, dad is cooking us a quick bite to eat before we go to Universal Studios, and this one right here is super excited, <laughs> he's also wearing his Transformer shirt, show them. Can you stand up and show them? And like it's one of his favorite rides. And guess who was a really good sister and got this shirt for him? Yeah! I got this shirt for him. Lovely. Okay. If you have been subscribed to my main channel since like last, like the beginning of this year, I have a vlog where I went to Universal Studios with my friends and that's when I got this shirt for him. And he really likes it, so it's good. So that's what we're up to. We're gonna have lunch quickly. And then, where are we going, Oscar? We're going to Universal Studios. Hi guys, it is now 1.22 and we are obviously in the car. We're on our way to go to Universal Studios. We are arriving. I've been here like so many times and I still am not getting bored of it. This is so typical, like palm trees everywhere. Hi guys, it is now 2 o'clock and we are obviously in. We got Woo! our fast passes and everything. Yeah, we are going to, I'm pretty sure we're going to the Simpsons ride first because that's like the first one that comes that you can see, if you know what I mean, because we've been here so many times. So, yeah. Oscar, where are we? Simpson! Crusty Land! Woo! I've been on this ride like so many times. Oh, it never gets old. Are you excited? I've been here so many times. Oscar, what ride are we at? We're in the Transformer ride. Wondering why is it so dark? And you're wearing your Transformer shirt? Yes. And yes. the best and have you got your battle glasses? Yeah, awesome. it really, really looks like battle glasses. It is now 3.40 and I just came from the mummy ride and Oscar was waiting for me because he, he wasn't tall enough to ride. I'm on the bus thing. Are you going on the studio tour? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bus thing where we see King Kong? Yeah. Hi guys, it is now almost 5 o'clock. Um, we no. just finished the studio tour and now we're going... Super Silly Funland! We're going to Super Silly Funland. Great. And I have... Wait, that scared me. Um, I got a churro because like I love the churros here. So yeah. Hi well, guys, I am in Super Silly Funland and I am on my little, little, what is this even called? My little, like, a bug. Oscar and Dad are behind me. Great. Okay, let's go down. Over there, oh, oh there's a minion there. There's like a water park uh, area and then there's a rock, the boardwalk. You know, it's, it's great. We are now gonna go on the ride when we become minions. Woo! We actually came here last year as well. This should take no longer than three hours! You wanna see Santa depart? Oscar, are you ready to turn to a minion? Yeah! At the end, we do 
did this last year, huh? Yeah, and we did the fast pass again. Yes. And we got 3D glasses. 3D glasses that Dr. Nefario made and for us. Yay! Okay, obviously I'm not allowed to film like during the ride, but this is what it looks like. And we're humans now. And we're then humans there's, now. there's like gonna be a minion over here. We're gonna here. turn into minions. Hi guys, it is basically 6 o'clock now and this is really uncomfortable. I tried to double strap it in. I just honestly think it's so uncomfortable. Does anyone feel the same way? Okay, so we are going out to the boardwalk now. We are leaving now because the park closes at 6, which is like right now, it's basically 6 o'clock. And all the rides are closed and they change it into like this Halloween horror night thing. So, I'm not staying for that because number one, I hate serious stuff. Oscar, did you want to show them what you got? Yes. You got a minion, huh? That's cute. We're in It's Sugar and I just want to eat everything. Oh my god. Heaven. Oh my god. Can you, can you see that right there? Yum. Yum. What is this thing? We also saw some Minium Peeps. Hi guys, it is now around 7. Is it 7? No, it's 6, 6, 6, 35. So we are leaving and the sky. The sky looks really pretty. Can you see that? It's so nice. Okay. So we are going to go find a place and get dinner. And then we're obviously heading home. I have here. Did I vlog candy? I did. I have some candy over here. Got some nerds. Got some pineapple gummy bears. Those are like my favorite gummy bears. And yeah, so that is it for this week's vlog. Well, that feels really weird to say. What? And I got the gummy bears and gummy coke, whatever it's called, and gummy worms. All right, guys, so that is it for my first weekly vlog. I don't think I'm going to be vlogging starting, like, tomorrow for the next week because obviously nothing too interesting happens every single day of my life. But, yeah, um, that is it for this long vlog please give it a thumbs up and tell me down below if you want more of these weekly vlogs or if you prefer them as single vlogs so yeah um that is it and i will see you all soon bye